What is up everyone? Welcome back to Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remastered for the PS4 So we defeated the Guardian of Worlds in the last episode But we're not done yet Even though we beat the Super Boss, we're not done yet um, There's a fairy here in Golden Grove that we can talk to To accept an errand from And this errand is going to involve us going to five different locales and we gotta find fairies. The runaway fairies. Okay, so Skull Mountain. Alright, so let's go to Skull Mountain. We gotta actually run out of here. You could use vac Vacate as well, but since Dex is right there, so it's fine. And we want to travel to Skull Mountain. And we go directly south here. And we'll be able to find the ferry eventually. There it is, right over here. All right, we're automatically transported back here again. Okay, ruins filled with water, so the Vault of Tears. Alright, let's go ahead and leave. And we're we'll traveling to the Vault of Tears. But as for stuff we still need to do, we need to quit this errand, obviously. Um, we need to re recruit the rest of the familiars, or capture the rest of the familiars, not recruit. Um, we also need to do some more alchemy until I get the trophy. I'm not going to do any more than the trophy on alchemy because there's just so much. They expect you to do a ridiculous amount in order to get 100% on the... Uh, alchemy and I'm not gonna get all the golden familiars either um, I'm gonna recruit all the other familiars though, all the regular ones I'm just not gonna get the golden versions I will be fighting every golden one that we can fight I'm just not gonna be capturing them all is what I mean Because, here's the thing, the gold ones are rare, as they already are, they're already rare as it is. Plus, you have to capture them as well. And, the, the capture rate on goldens are really, really low. Like, 0.1%. <laughs> so, yeah. Not gonna happen, I can tell you that much right now. Okay, so the third area. Weird other world. One I've not seen before, okay. It's hard to read that red text, that's why I rotate. Sometimes. Let me grab my phone here real quick. I've already got the list of uh, where we gotta go. Okay, the next area is Motorville, okay. Oh yeah, I gotta check, see where the ferry's at so I don't have to run around forever trying to find him. Okay, 
So we have to go near Fear. Okay, sorry about that. I'm gonna go to Phil's workshop. All right, so let's use Gateway immediately. Oh, we have to go outside, of course. Can't use Gateway in dungeons for whatever weird reason. I don't know why. But you can't use it in dungeons. Oh. That's right, it shows you where they're on the map anyway. You just have to press R1, open the map, and it'll tell you where you gotta go anyway. So you don't even have to look up where to go. You just go to the area and then it tells you. The reason I don't read these errands is because it's a lot of like boring, tedious stuff, honestly. Um, none of the errands really in this game are very interesting. Same with White Knight Chronicles. Errands in White Knight Chronicles were even more boring than this game. The errands in White Knight Chronicles made me want to fall asleep. Uh... Level 5 loves to put filler in their games. Um, I love their games, don't get me wrong. They're one of the best game developers ever out there, period. I'd even rank them almost as high as Square Enix. But they do have a lot of filler in their games. Like, that's just a fact. So, I'll praise, I'll praise Level 5 for a lot of different things, but... I can also criticize them as well with their games having a lot of filler. They kind of like stuff their games with so much stuff to do and you can put like hundreds of hours but a lot of it feels kind of unnecessary. Playing a level 5 game is kind of like playing a MMORPG. It's very, you'll put a lot of time into their games. Okay. A narrow little cover. Okay. So we got to travel to Hamelin. And we're going to need to use Tingri. We want to fly east here. And I think it should be around here somewhere. Let's see. Spot where we can land here. Over here maybe. Nope, maybe not. Or maybe we have to go through that mine. If it'll let us. I'm going down here to grab this harvest point real quick. Might as well, right? Can we go in this mine up here? Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Yep, there he is, right at the end. Chest in here as well. Told still Sunday. See if there's any other chest in here. Let me use chart chest. Some of those green ones that are we can't really see. Yeah, I see there's a green one up there. See, I, I knew it.
want to actually get that before we leave as well because I got to do an intro for that as well for the all green treasure chest video. Alright, and the next green treasure chest we're going to be getting is here in the abandoned mine uh, east of Hamlin in the mountains. Alright. I'll show you where it's at on the map. We get it, Giant's Fingernails. So let me go ahead and leave. And I'll show you where it's at on the map. Uh, but here's here's the map of this area, though. It's right here. It was up there to the northwest, or the nor north part of the map. Alright. Now let's go out here. And I'll show you. There's Hamlin, right there to the west. It's up here on the east. You have to use Tingri to get here, though. You can't get here any other way. You have to use Tingri. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. I had to... Oh, there's a skeleton here. All right, let's talk to the fairy. <laughs> Found a new friend. Skeleton friend. We'll probably eat him after a while if he's not careful. Wonder how fairy tastes. Alright. We gotta find one more fairy. Forest. Forest dwellers. Freezing. So, freezing... The forest where it's freezing, so yeah, we have to go to um let's see here. That's when you travel to Yule. And when you go to the southeast. And when you go to their center of the island. We've been to this glade before, I'm pretty sure, so. But Jack Frost's playground over here. And we need to find the forest. Should be right around in, in here somewhere. Might take me a little while to find it. Nope, it didn't take me a while to find it at all. I found it instantly, just about. We'll go ahead and chart chest here. Nope, there's no chest. Alright, but anyway, the fairy should be around here somewhere. There it is. And for completing this errand, you get two Cleto stones, which would have been nice to get earlier for that one errand, or that one, not errand, but that one, or yeah, for that one errand, the Master Alchemist. So you could have gotten two from this alone, and then you would only need to get three more, but I didn't. I know you could get them from that, so... And there we go, we get five as a bonus. And we get some new alchemy form formulas as well. So is that the final errand or is there one more? Let's go ahead and head. We can get the final reward as well, the final merit uh, reward. So we can go to Swiss Solutions and do that.
So let's do that real quick. Can't even jump over the fairies. That's sad. No new errands on the board. Jack of Mindal. Alright, so we're done with that. Superhero. No new bounty hunts, no new bounties. No new errands. I think we did all the errands. So, let's just double check here. So, it ends at like, yeah, 86 or 85 and then goes over here 86. Then you go down 100, 107. And 10, and 20, 20, 24, 5, 6, 27, 29, 30, okay, 130, let's see here, 131, 32, 33 is down here, 133 is over here, yep, there's 133, and then 134, it's right here. 35. 35. So where's 136? That's the one I'm missing, 136. I need to look up 136. Oh yeah, by the way, that errand we just did was errand number 69. 69, all right. All right. Yeah, here's 136 right here. Oh, it's a porous. All right, so I think I'll do, I'll continue the Horus side quest. Uh... That's right, that's the last, that'll, let's do the last errand. So I guess we'll do that in this episode. So the last place we found him was in, uh, uh, I think, I think it was here in the fairy ground, right? Or... No, it's in Hamlin. Next place is in uh, Yule. So let's go to Yule. And we can find Horus. And the answer to this riddle is going to be Blizzard Bloom. I'll just go ahead and tell you guys now in case you want to just skip ahead of me or whatever. But we have to find him first. Where is he at? Horus, where are you at? Is he in here? There's like a bunch of people in here. Uh, nope. Oh, Horus, I need to complete the final errand. Come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> I'm being stupid, guys. Don't pay any attention to me. Well, I guess he might be in one of the houses. He is a ghost cause it's so he can get away with it. No one will ever know. He's got to be careful not to knock things over. But he's a ghost so he can't knock things over. So he's good. Flowers in front of me, okay. Now the answer is blizzard. 
Make sure not to spell it wrong. And you want to do a space. Balloom. B L O O M. We get the cloudburst spell. Next up is Perdita. That's where he'll go next. Okay, stop talking. Jeez. I'll see you in the next area, dude. Quit talking. Go on and on, like... Jeez. This is what I was talking about earlier with this, like, filler dialogue and stuff of level 5. And again, their games are amazing. Like, they're one of my favorite game developers, so I'm not hating on them. I'm just saying, like, a lot of filler. Once you don't, once you're near the end of a level five game, it starts to drain on you. And if you played a level five game, you know what I'm talking about. Like once you get it, once you get towards the end, it like starts to be like, man, I'm I'll be glad when this is over. But their games are so amazing. That you just want to keep playing, you know? But then once it's near the end, it's like, oh, it's finally over. But it's, it's probably because I've played this game multiple times as well. It's, if I had only played this game once, I wouldn't be having, I wouldn't be talking like this. When I played on the PS3, I never had this thought ever. So it's only because I'm playing through the second time is the only reason I'm saying all this. A second playthrough of a game is too much, I think. I think you should only play a game once. But I always have a tendency to go back multiple times and play games several times. And that's my problem. But anyway, I'm going to do an intro for this like purple chest real quick and all. Then we'll go talk to Hor Horace. Alright, the next purple chest we're going to be opening is here in Perdita. Right here on the map on the west side of town. And we'll go ahead and use spring lock here. And we get a bottle of Nostrum, which is very good. Alright, so there we go. I did that video for the all purple chest. I'll do that because um, so I don't have to make so I don't have to like find the clip of me getting the purple chest during the let's play. Like if I record a whole episode of a let's play, right? And I don't do a clip like that. I'll never be able to find it. I'll never be able to. I'll have to go through the whole video, and then then edit the video, just cut out the parts, cut out the whole let's play part, and find where the purple chest segment is, and then put that into the all purple chest video. And it would be too annoying. So it's better just to make a separate video. It's better to pause the stop the recording, make a new recording. And do it like that. So that's what I did just then. I stopped the recording. Started a new recording. Did the intro for the purple chest. Then I stopped the recording. And then I made a new. This is the new recording right here. So a fun fact for you guys. If you want to make it easier on yourself. That's how you should do it. If you want to do like. If you're doing let's plays. And you want to do an all bosses video. Just stop the recording whenever you get to the boss. Start up a new recording when you start the boss battle. After the boss battle is over, stop the recording. 
and then start up a new recording. And that way you can get to cycle through all your let's plays trying to find where the boss battles are at. Certain character that only appears in one location. Okay, old Smokey. Okay, and why? We get the bell spell, which I think makes you makes you invisible. So you can like uh, avoid enemies, but I don't think it's very useful, honestly. All right, that's that. And now we need to go back to Ding Dong Dell. All right. All right, we are back to the cemetery where we first found him, remember? Way, way earlier on in the game. By the way, you can only use that Filmo build that we got in the last episode out on the world map. You can't use it in towns and stuff, so don't. So you can't do that. <laughs> Going to the cemetery during the day. It's kind of weird. You, if you're going to go to the cemetery, go at night. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Because they actually close up cemeteries at night. I'm just messing around. Like I was, this whole cemetery is just that one tombstone. Nazca runes. Alright, so the answer is unleash. Not T, I didn't mean to do T. Unleash the beast. No, don't type that. It's not unleash the beast. It's unleash. Thunderstorm, all right. Okay, so now we need to go to Ara Memoria. This will be the final location.
Is that him up here? I think so. This music right here reminds me so much of Dragon Quest. Like it's basically like, like I've heard this theme from Dragon Quest. When you're out in like the world map or whatever. Dragon Quest 8 in specific. Alright, so the answer to this is Wizard's Robe. But you have to do it. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Do wizards. First do wizard. And then add um, an apostrophe. And then do S. You want to do space and you want to type robes. Make sure. Yep, robes. Okay. B E S. There you go. Ah, oh, so he's a Sage of Nazca. Okay. Here we get Page describing Astra spell, and we get a trophy as well for uh, get learning all of all of her spells. Ah, he was a Sage of Ages. Okay. Interesting. I didn't remember that when I played this on PS3. Great. Great, great, grand sage. A sagely looking ghost has been waiting in the R Memorial. It seems he has something important to say. Listen to what Horace has to say. Yes. But two wands. I got two wands. <laughs> one for the fire and one for the ice. I got two wands. <laughs> Instead of two phones, it's two wands. <laughs> Just messing around, guys. Yeah, the Wizard King. Cassiopeia's father. Okay. Interesting.
Okay, I gotta look this. One second here. Taking a while for this web page to load. Hold on one second. I'm clicking on Aaron 136 now. Okay, Mornstar, yeah. How did I not know that? That's obvious. They said it like multiple times throughout the game. Okay. Okay, we gotta fall, we gotta find them in different locations. Uh, so we have to go to Tombstone Trail. So I'll meet you guys in Tombstone Trail uh, at the end of the area. All right, so I'm here at the end of the Tombstone Trail. As you can tell, it took me a while to get through here, but. Finally managed to make it. And oh, of course we gotta do spirit medium. Alright, the answer to this one is A Pip. A A P E P. Okay, now we'll have to head to the Vault of Tears with this. So, you definitely want to use Vacate or you can use that Teleporter over there. I'll just go ahead and use Vacate, it's fine. And we'll teleport to the Vault of Tears. This one I'll actually show because it's not a very long dungeon anyway, so... Head on over there. And he's right at the end of the area. Like I said, I'll just show this because, like I said, it won't take us that long to get over there. This area is really short. Spirit Medium again. And the answer to this one is White Witch. Okay, White Witch. Let's 
space which okay Ah, oh, great. The final one, we gotta go to the Ivory Tower. Lovely. I'm gonna have to go all the way to that area again. Even though I've already pretty much done grinding at the moment. Um. So, the next one is in, uh, the Glittering Grotto. So I'll meet you guys in the Glittering Grotto. Well, I guess I could just go over there. I don't know... Doesn't actually show where he's at here. Is he at like the end of the area? Doesn't actually show. I'm not sure where he's at here. I'm assuming he's going to be at the end of the area. So that's where I'll head on over to. So I'll meet you guys at the end of this place, I guess. I'll be right back. Okay, so I guess I didn't have to cut the video anyway. He wasn't that far from the beginning. Go to that invisible wall. And then just get over here. And here he is. And the answer to this is bring hope. I don't really care about any of this dialogue either. All this just to like, it's like so weird that you gotta go all the way out of your way just to do this stuff. Probably one of the more annoying side quests in the game. Like they could have, he could have asked all the riddles at once in Aura Memoria, but instead you have to go to multiple different areas to talk to him, and it makes no sense. All right, so now we need to go to the final dungeon, which is uh, the Ivory Tower, and we gotta go all the way to the end of it. So meet you guys at the, I'll meet you guys at the end of the Ivory Tower. Remember to get there, you go to the Iron Wyvern, and then you take Tingri, and you fly over to the tower. Alright, so I'm at the end of uh, the Ivory Tower here. Let me see here. The answer to this one... Gonna be Wizard's Companion. That's obviously we have to do Spirit Medium. Do the dialogue quickly here. Pause the video if you need to. Not really too concerned about it. Like I said, I've already played this game before. So that's mainly why I'm skipping to the dialogue. I already read all this in the past. So. I do. I did forget a lot of it, but just I don't. F this playthrough's been going long enough. Let's just say that it's overstayed its welcome at this point. And that's what happens when you play a game multiple times. It does kind of like drain on you a little bit. It hasn't even been that long ago since I played the PS3 version either. I think it was like 2016 or something like that. So it's not like it's been an insane, insanely long time ago.
Okay, alchemy formula. And we get a mirror of truth and 10,000 guilders. Great, great grand sage complete. All right, so if we go to progress support here, we have 100% of the task. We have 95% of the wizard's companion complete. Um, we have 90% of the creature compendium complete. Um, I need to get the rest of the familiars, obviously. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to worry about golden ones uh, because I don't really care about golden familiars. <clears throat> but other than that, I'll get all the other ones. And the, probably in the next episode will be the final episode. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.